Assalamualaikum and a very good day to you all. In this video, uh, we would like to discuss about domain and range. Now, but before we go straight into solving questions and get domain and range for each function, um, maybe we can uh, get the help from this diagram in front of you. Yeah. So, uh, we have a domain here, okay, which contains uh, several objects, okay, namely apple, orange, and grapes. And also, we have a codomain. The codomain is a collection of the drinks. Yeah, we have uh, wine, we have twister, okay, we have apple juice, and we have orange juice. Yeah, now, um, so the function is in this case a function is a is a blender. Okay, so the possible things that we can insert our blender is the object. Okay, so apple when we set into op, into our function of blender can become twister, it can become an apple juice. Okay, now, so uh, next is um, orange. Yeah, orange can be twister. Okay, because the process is in a form blender in the in the in the factory, and then it can be. It can be the, uh, what's this, uh, orange juice, yeah, while grapes, okay, put in blender can be twister, but it cannot be wine, because we cannot simply put, uh, upper grapes inside the blender to get wine, right, we have to ferment it first and so on, yeah, any other process. So from here, what is the domain? Okay, domain means, domain is the all possible objects, uh, all possible things that we can put inside the um, function. In this case, it's the object that we can put inside. Okay, can put. So, which are the things that we can put inside our domain? Is the apple, is the orange, and the, uh, what's this? The grape. As you can see here, the stone here is not, is not in the domain because... We cannot put uh, rocks inside the uh, blender, okay? So, it doesn't work, okay? Otherwise, the function will get broken or it doesn't work. And also, uh, we can see that wine cannot be produced out of the blender, okay? Wine cannot be produced out of the blender, okay? So, the collection of, um, the collection of objects is the main. Now, what is what do we call the collection of images? Okay, these are the collection of images. Uh, we know wine is not the image, eh? So the collection of images, these three things are called range. Okay. So now we know domain is the all possible object that can be inside that can be ins insert in the function, while range are all the possible result. Okay possible images that can be produced from the function okay so from the uh, diagram above we know the domain is apple yeah apple uh, orange and grapes okay while codomain of f is wine twister apple juice and orange juice but <coughs> the range okay the range is is not wine okay so we can copy can paste put it here okay so yeah so it's the twister apple juice and orange juice okay now so maybe we can start with uh, several example yeah down here so let's start with the linear function okay so linear function is the form of fx so maybe minus two okay so when we uh, when we uh, sketch them, right, okay, reduce the thickness, so minus 2 is somewhere here, okay, I forgot to label x and y, okay, now, now from here, we are, we want to find the domain, so what is the domain of f, domain of f is the all possible, um, object that can be inside the function so simply put if we trace from any x on the x axis 
and then we move to upwards or downwards it must touch the function so from left hand side or maybe minus infinity the green line actually uh, extend over here yeah but since we are limiting our view then it's uh, it's been cut so from from left it touches okay so it means we can put this x inside the function so if we move this line this straight line from left to right you see it always touches the function our function of fx equals minus 2 so it means that all numbers can be insert in the function so the domain is real number or okay or you prefer to write in uh, uh, interval form then it's negative infinity until infinity okay how about uh, range okay now uh, just now uh, we have a domain is the all possible value of x okay so maybe i label the function first okay now let's have a look uh for range range is the all the all possible value of y or images that can be produced so when we have this minus 5 maybe 5 minus 5x what is the y the y is minus 2 when x is minus 2 then the y is 2 when it's 1 the y is 2 when it's 3 then the y is 2 now from here what we can see uh, for constant uh, function it always produces the same number the same thing which is minus 2 okay another way to test it also is by using the horizontal line just now when we want to detect for the domain we are using vertical line right okay now we use uh, horizontal line and then we move this horizontal line up and down now as we can see here if when i move it up here the blue line doesn't touch any of the green line doesn't touch the function so this is not the range okay so we move downwards a little bit and then move at eh kena sama and then eh doesn't kena sama why because the function only has only have a range of minus two only minus two touches the the line here okay the function uh, the line only touches the function at minus two so the range is minus two and then since it's one element we have to do that okay now let's move on to uh, maybe linear okay so two minus three x Okay, so how we are going to sketch that? Easy, this one is something going down that going through y equals 2. So where is y equals 2? Somewhere up there. So I just uh, do, do like that. Put fx and then this is 2. Okay, and then this is x, this is y. Okay, now. Um, so how to get the domain? Okay. Okay, now it's easy just do just have a horizon uh, vertical line just like we've done in the previous example and then we move from why i cannot move it away okay ah uh, so we start from here and then as you can see we start from the edge of the function right and then as soon as i move to the right it always touches the function from negative infinity until positive infinity okay therefore it's the real number all numbers can be put inside the function or this one lah okay you can choose lah okay now how about the range so the range we use vertical line okay we use vertical line okay you see when we start move it touches right Touch, 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 until have you also touch. So when they all touches, it means that all possible, these are corresponding to the all possible y's that can be produced. Okay. Therefore, it's also a real number or minus infinity until infinity. Okay. Now, next, uh, maybe um, y, sorry, maybe gx. Okay. 
maybe we try with uh, quadratic yeah minus 3 x square plus 4 minus 2 oh sorry minus 4 x minus 2 eh okay now we need to uh, factorize them okay x square plus 4 over minus 4 over 3 x oh the, the numbers are not nice so maybe mm, 6 and 12 okay so minus 3 so we have x squared minus 2x uh, plus 4 correct I think so okay so minus 3 big box minus small box plus c okay so c is plus 4 uh, x is minus 2 over 2 copy paste minus 2 over 2 Okay, and then minus 3, what's this, x minus 1, square, this one, uh, 1, square is 1, minus 1 plus 4. Okay, and then minus 3, we have x minus 1, square minus, a minus, pula, sorry, plus 3. Okay, therefore we have minus 3, x minus 1, square, do, don't ever bring this one inside here eh? because the power are not the same this one power 1 this one power 2 cannot put inside just leave it outside there so minus 3 minus minus 3 plus 3 okay my multiply this 2 we become minus 4 so we have gx equals minus 3 x uh, minus 1 2 minus 4 so how to sketch this easy this one equals 0 so x equals 1 so y is minus 1 Okay, therefore the point is at 1 minus 9. What kind of point? We have a frown, frown, frown smile. Frown, it's not smiling, frowning. So frowning has maximum point. So maximum point at 1 minus 9. 1 minus 9 over there. So I do like that. X and Y. 1 9. Oh, I made a mistake. Padam. This one lah. Okay. Y and then 1, 1 and 9. Minus 9, 1. Okay. This is the maximum point. So, the frown should be like this. Okay. What is this? Is the Y intercept. Y intercept happens when X is 0. So, minus 3, 0, minus 1, square, minus 9. So, what we have is uh, 0, minus 1, 1, 1, minus 3, minus 9, minus 12. Correct, correct. So, this is minus 12. Okay, now. So, oh, maybe, maybe I use even color lah, yeah. Blue, blue, blue. Eh, green lah. Green, so 12, this one. Okay, so this is our function of what is this? G, X. Okay, now, what is the domain and what is the range? Okay, domain of G is what? Domain means what? All possible X value that can be put inside the function. Now, we start from here. It touches, right? Actually, it touches because the green line extends here. Eh? So, it's just that we limit our space of uh, sketching the function. Okay, and then, this line, if we move... We move. Okay, you see? Touches, right? Touch, 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 touch. Until there also touch. So, it's a real number. Or minus infinity until infinity. Okay, now. How about the range of G? Okay, now. Range is all about value. The possible value of Y. So, let us trace from any of the Y here. And then we extend to the right or to the left. And we test whether it touches or not. As you can see here, over here that does not touch. Okay. Eh, why cannot? Why cannot? So. Okay. Now, you see, if I move it up here, down here, doesn't touch. It started touches when y e minus 9. Of course, it doesn't really touch exactly because my scaling is horrible but the point the maximum point there is minus 9 right so it starts from minus 9 and until we 
compare and we move downwards until minus infinity. So, see, it has started touching here. Touching, 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 touching until down there. So, down there is what? Minus infinity. So, the possible range for G is minus infinity until minus 9. Now, for minus... Oh, sorry. Okay, so... Okay, so for minus 9, we need to decide whether it's open bracket or a square bracket. Now, minus 9 is included in the function, isn't it? Because it's a line, okay? It's not a empty circle like this, okay? Actually, it's a line, so it's automatically a dense circle. So, we have to do a square bracket, okay? So, uh, maybe uh, it's 15 minutes already. So, maybe I do a separate video for any other functions. Uh, so, stay tuned for the uh, domain and range part 2. Yeah? Okay, thank you for your time and attention. Assalamualaikum. Have a good day.